I'm Greg Retke of Retke Mods, and welcome to part two of my small form factor Dell Optiplex sleeper gaming build. In this episode, we will be showing off how the card setup will be. I have just gotten the PCIe extension and my GTX 1050, and everything is ready to go. So let's start. Now if we look at the 1050, we'll notice, of course, like originally stated in the first video, this is actually way too big to fit normally. If we try to plug it into the slot, it just will not go in, and that's because it hits the PS2 ports right here. Also, the card is taller than the case, as you can see right here. So how we're going to install it is by using an extension here and then laying it flat here. And I'll hook it up and show you what it will look like. When I officially mount it into the system, it will look like this. As we can see here, it is laying right in the case like this. So now I will hook this up and I will demonstrate the very first time turning it on to see if it works. Okay, we have the card hooked up for the first boot up. We have it plugged into a display port to active VGA adapter into this monitor which I use to test all my systems that I build and or repair. So let's start it up. And we have video. And it is booting into Windows. Alright, it is booted up. The card itself is working fine. As we can see here, it is running. I will now install the drivers and get back to you. Okay guys, I'm fresh back from work. I filmed the next part of the video about 15 hours ago. And in that part of the video, I explained to you that I was having some driver conflict issues and I thought it was a power delivery issue. It was actually a hardware conflict issue and I couldn't quite figure it out. And it actually turned out to be a RAM memory addressing issue due to the mixed DIMMs I had in the system. The matched pair of DIMMs came in the mail today and I have installed them to give the grand total of 8 gigs. With the matched pair of DIMMs, the system works totally fine now. And back when the driver itself was not working properly, GeForce Experience would not even open and it said that it had an install error. Now everything works, even the NVIDIA control panel which didn't work either. As we can see here, the control panel totally works, everything is recognized, and in GeForce Experience, everything is recognized. I've been running some stability tests, and everything seems to be checking out fine now. There is no issues from what I can tell, and it runs nice and cool. And as we can see, this is what it will look like when it is in full-on sleeper mode. It is very unexpected what kind of power this system packs. Anyway, so on to the next part of the video and then finally the wrap up. Okay, we have it all set up now. I have mocked up the card to make it look the way it will look when it's finished. I haven't put any supports into it yet, but this is a general idea what it will look like when it is finished. As we can see here, everything is working. It shows up in Device Manager, and it's all set up. Now, I'm having some driver issues, which I can't figure out quite yet, but I think Windows is detecting that the card is getting less power than it is supposed to. I'm not sure, though. I may have to get an adapter that has an actual power cable coming out of it, one of the Molex adapters, to plug into this floppy plug here to add a little more power. I can convert this plug to a Molex and it shouldn't have any more issues if that's the problem. But right now, 
the driver is working, but every time I restart the system, the driver stops working and the system says that there's a driver fault. I'm going to figure out how to fix it, but right now there's a few issues with that driver. Anyway, this is the mock-up. There's no supports in it, like I said earlier, but I want to show you what it will look like from the back when it's finished. I'll put the top on and we'll wrap up the video. And here's what the finished product looks like so far. This will probably be what it looks like when it's finished. As you can see right here, I have the plate for the Wi-Fi adapter. I don't have the Wi-Fi adapter yet, so this is from another one. But that fills that hole, and this blank here fills that hole. So there's still everything filled up. As we can see the card, it doesn't look great around the hole, but it holds it in pretty sturdy. And it sticks out a little bit, but it can still set pretty flush to a wall with no issues. And anyway, so that's the end of this video. In the next part, we'll be doing some various things. I'll be showing off how I secured it to the inside of the case, and we'll do some tests after I get the drivers working properly. Anyway, well, thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.